Oh boy, so you been. Hopefully you got to participate in all types of celebratory activities. Me? I'm just uh, in the shop with my junk, eh? With my rusty, leaky, broken, dented, leaky, broken junk, but you know, a little over here, a little over there. I'm gonna try to get some of this ready for paint or something sometime this year, eh? Hopefully this year we can get some paint, but my my wat me, my good wat me, nothing holds the sakut on. You know, grab a sakut and I'll show you. Nothing holds the sakut on. You put a sakut on there and then you let it, so that's no good, right? So apparently there's like a little thing. You can just like get that out of there probably. Hopefully I don't jab myself. I'm like really good at that, you know what I mean? Pop off the old O-Dink. Eh? Just pop off the old O-Dink. Pop on the Nuda. And then it's just this stupid little ringle though. Oh. Oh, I did it. I really did. So now, we'll put a socket on there and just not be able to get it off. Oh, nice. Stays on there, comes off easy. We fixed it. We really fixed it. Awesome. These are the guys here. Just like a little satsil. Just a very small satsil. I don't know where I've seen satsils like that before, but <gasps> I apologize. Oh, and. It's the day of the package boys. Check this out. It's an actual shooter cam. Hey? So these bastardos down at, uh, I don't even know what that says. I'm really not, you know, a connoisseur of the, of the word. But, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Oi walk! Something maybe, I don't know. But this this guy here, she's she's got a she's got the little tusk peenies. I took those out there one time and I couldn't get them back in. But there's a J hook, a magnet, and like a, a 45 angled mirror. Got the USB, of course. But it's, it's I don't know. I thought this was 2023, boys. And it's got like a 1987 USB on it, so that's good. But uh, yeah, she's she's got the 50 foot. The 50 foot tusk on her. Turn her on there. Then you can like select between uh, Pixie there, Vidya, look at your picture, and then you know, what's it? But what's that seventh of a pixel? Who's that seventh of a pixel? I apologize. But yeah, that'll come in handy. Maybe we'll freaking saunt this down the engine hole. Hey? I was thinking that we could like check to see if the killer dolphin's been done. But I don't know. I would just take the cover off. You know what I mean? Oh, and then this. I'm hoping this guy here will just plunge right into the firewall. See where the friggin' uh. Cable, this cable here, this one right here, is coming out of the firewall. We'll just stab that guy in there, mount it, and that'll be awesome. We're not talking today. <laughs> we're not talking we're going to do any of that today. You know, and we'll probably have some cigarettes and a couple of puffs of the jank gum, probably. So there's a pretty good chance. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll be clutch and so I'm terrible. And I'm almost hoping that this guy here just bolts right onto that guy there. Of course it'll be, so look at that. It's even a compatible situation and I guess, what do you just turn that? That thing turn or what?
but yeah. Anyway, let's sandwich that into the firewall there and maybe make a little bit of the bracute. It's a little spot for a spring. Good lord, that's a nice piece of equipment there. Oh lord! Hey? I apologize to, if I sound exhilarated. It's, it's strictly upstairs, there's no downstairs exhilaration. No need to concern yourself with that. So we're just waiting for the slave cylinder now. We got the mass cylinder and the pedal. And then also these dicks down at uh, Vivor, Vever. Vever, we'll call them, hey? I don't know why they don't just come up with a name that you can pronounce or read. Vever. Come on. But, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do a little unboxing here, boys. They asked me, you know, they wanted to send me like a tire pump, you know, a 12 volt stupid thing or I can't remember what the other thing was, but they had three options. One of them was a propane forge, eh? Look at that. Only urine on a little, eh? Only very minimal urine. What is this? Refractory cement. Decent. About like 600 bucks of that one time and it was the wrong stuff. Look at that. Look at the quality craftsmanship, boys. Holy! Real attention to detail. You can really tell the attention to detail. You know what I mean? That is an awful large satchel for two screws, but I guess they probably don't want you to just lose it. So these things here will be like the air control. Oxygen level, you know what I mean? Very highfalutin fitment. Very, very highfalutin. Oh, look at the highfalutin fitment, boys. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, what I find here, boys. I've always wanted to sort of, you know, make knives and stuff, right? I made one shop class one time is highly highly frowned upon but we got a little cinder they sent us with a little block of cinder that was good of them oh yeah that that thing reeks holy it smells like like a hemp shop like a patchouli it smells like we might have a little patchouli in, into the into the mix here boys so that's good well, there you go, another tool we'll never use. Still do have all the schmelting stuff, so I mean, one day I'd like to get back into schmelting. It's just a matter of maybe I could finish some of the other stuff I got going on too, right? Well, they got pictures. They, they got pictures for me. Well, they got a wooden brush. Oh. That's good of them.
Oh, well, how are you doing? How are you freaking doing? Get a little clean up there. And friggin' get those uh, engine mounts off. Do a little, do a little cleany poo, a little cleany poo. Be awesome. Get her painted. Do the brake lines. Push her outside. Start something else. What happened? Not even joking. Schneikowitz got almost, I don't know, quarter, maybe a seventh of the frame done. Sort of looked like before. Might as well looks like now. Just an even sort of patina sondo. We can we can do the rust chucher. We can do the rust chucher poop. And then that'll give us a nice uh, a nice base to paint. Yeah, I used the, uh, the air chisel to chisel off one of these revutes. They don't just come off, eh? I don't know if you knew that or not, but that one's a, a bolt, so I'll just undo that, pop that guy off. Sway bar end links, we'll cut those off. Might be able to undo that one, but the other one's just rusted. Terrible, but uh, 
Yeah, I got the engine mounts. Took off a little scrape of painting. I'm not sure about this. This this doesn't look like it was ever ever been painted. Maybe it, maybe it got replaced at some point or something rusted out or got daiquered. But I need to find a new one of these guys here because we got another uh, so we got another Ricky rig over here. Check this out. There's just like a cut off hunk of something jammed in there, welded on, and this thing's like welded on there too and stuff. Well, I mean, did the trick, I guess, but yikes. So we'll probably grind and cut that all off and then uh, get a new little Bracute. Four, $4, right? It's only $4, so you definitely want to just uh, weld on a whole bunch of scrap metal uh -huh. on your freaking control arm. I apologize. But yeah, my back's hurting some terrible from keeling over so much so I quit the thing about that is it's not dependent on me being able to park my van in somebody's yard if I quit you know what I mean so it, it's unbeknownst it's totally unbeknownst so do a little bit here do a little bit there nobody's the wiser but uh, yeah I want to just knock a couple more bolts out of there and then we'll call her a cigarette boys friggin uh, we'll probably get it outside again at some point there and give her another prayer wash the under the very very you know the under edge there's got some uh, debris some miscellaneous debris onto it so uh, I was gonna cut the creeper I was gonna lay under there and scrape it but then I thought no nah, me okay me okay that's what I thought I was gonna probably do without doing that maybe tomorrow you know what I mean yeah you break cables Stray bar end links, a couple things will clean up the rear end. I mean, I should probably put new U joints in there because you know they they rust out some terrible. And then it down in there, down in there, rust out some terrible. But, but yeah, there you go. Too bad the hobo was freaking bees me to me. Give him back your pickle. He loves that kind. Hey, he loves that kind. And he was smoked cigarettes.